All right, guys, welcome back to the series. This is the final episode. Today we are going to be spraying all of our base coat and our clear coat on these fairings. Uh, part one and part two was cleaning and sanding and getting the plastics ready to accept paint. And now I'm going to use a tack cloth. It has a special oil that will remove all dust and residue off of the fairings. So I'm going to rub everything down real quick to get them cleaned up. So this will take a few minutes. Just be sure to get everything wiped down thoroughly when you're doing this. All right, now it's time to start spraying our adhesion promoter, which is also going to be a flexing agent and primer for the plastic. We're going to put a couple coats on of this nice and evenly about two good coats let it set up and dry and then we're going to start spraying our paint now this is called bulldog adhesion promoter there's many different brands of this this helps the paint stick to the plastic and allows it to give uh, have a little more flex so it doesn't crack or chip now for my paint i am using the spray max style 2k it's a two-part paint. You have to take the red cap off the top, put it on the bottom, hit it, which ruptures a canister on the inside of this can, and you begin to shake it. So it's spraying a hardener with paint, just like you would in an auto body shop. Uh, you have to shake it up really well for a few minutes, take the cap off, bust the bottom, shake it up some more, and you're ready to shoot. All right, I'm going to throw on some safety glasses, kick the fan up a little bit, and put my respirator on. Shake, shake, baby. I probably look really fantastic. Here we go. Now we have to wait five to ten minutes before spraying the next coat. So we'll be back. All right, now it's time to spray the actual paint. I've been shaking this thing for a few minutes now. I've got my two good coats on of the adhesion promoter. So now I'm going to remove the red cap. Hit it and then shake it up for two minutes. You do not want this stuff on your skin. You damn sure don't want to breathe it. It will set up and harden in your lungs. It will harden in your eyeballs. It doesn't matter. And it can kill you. So after I spray a coat, I'm going outside. I'll wait 10 to 15 minutes, I'll come back in and shoot another coat. I can already see some places on this other thing that was previously painted. It's going to need a little more work. Alright, moment of truth, guys. Very light coat the first time. It's probably going to take both cans just to do these. This stuff is flashing really quick because it's so hot in here.
Okay, here is the parts painted. I went through both cans of my black. So for in order in order for me to do the other parts, I'm going to have to order more. I'll do that in just a moment when I go back in the house. But I'll give you a close-up of the parts and how they turned out on the initial spray. Man, the floor is sticky. And there is some orange peel going on. So I will need to do a little bit of sanding. But overall, I think I will be happy with that. You can probably hear my feet sticking to the daggum tarp on the floor. That's the nose piece. turned out pretty well the ones I'm really gonna have to do some work on are these pieces that texture that it already had I tried my best to smooth it over probably should have worked at it more so now what I'll do is sand the paint down smooth and shoot another coat on it so you can see the texture really bled through on those parts and then this was the fairing that I bought from eBay. Some orange spill on it. It looks like everything took the paint fairly well. That is definitely black. That is a good black. So it should match up rather well. This is the rear fender. So what I'll do is order up a couple more cans of paint. I'll get everything smoothed over before I do my clear coat. Let it set up overnight and do my sanding. Alright, this was the completely unpainted fairing. Not too bad. This is just the base coat. Just the tiniest little bit of orange peel, and I think that is because of the adhesion promoter not laying perfectly flat. And because of that, you'll see the next fairing, I have already went back and smoothed it out. I wasn't too happy with it. This is the one that I bought off eBay that was already painted. So I went and smoothed it down, and I'm going to reshoot the paint. Now, the back half of the front fender actually turned out really smooth, but if I'm going to shoot one, I'm going to shoot them all. This is the shroud that joins the two fender halves together, or fairing halves. So I've got it all smoothed back out. Now, if you look, these are the new pieces that I bought. You can see some water droplets. I sprayed them off. They've been sitting in the building for a while while I waited on more paint. Um, but the texturing you can see is just crazy. And mostly what happened here is when I sprayed the paint, when I sprayed the upper, the paint fell down and dried on that, causing a rough surface. That on top of how deep the texture already was in that, I'm not too happy with how textured that is so I smoothed it out and now what I'm going to do is take down these two going to go water sand those 400 grit back and forth just to smooth it over because the fairings have sat here and I've waited on paint for so long I have to respray it anyway because I'm outside of my recoat window and luckily this base is sandable so I'm going to go get these two prepped back up, and then we're going to shoot the final base, let it sit, and then put clear coat. All right, I'm going to do the big pieces first. Start shaking my paint. I still have to tack it down. I've got two pieces just to the uh, right of the screen here, off to the side. I'm going to spray my big pieces first. That way I don't get the... Uh, 
the dryness, the fallout, whatever they call it in the painting world, and I don't get that rough texture again. So, this is Spraymax 2K. This is Toyota Black, uh, which is really close. Now, I compared the finished job of that to one of the factory fairings, and it was super, super close. I was actually happy with how well it turned out. So, pack cloth here is going to make sure there's no dust. <clears throat> There was my first light tack coat. That should be it. So now I'm going to go hook up my small pieces and shoot them closer to the fan in front and then I'll hang them up. So there's that one. You can hear my feet sticking to the floor. I learned my lesson last time. I had a tarp down and uh, I was dragging the tarp around everywhere. So if you do this, wet your garage floor or whatever you're painting, wherever you're painting, and uh, wear old shoes, old clothes, because if you don't, you're going to be regretting it. And again, you just want to wait a few minutes between all your coats. I think these are going to turn out really good this time. Okay, so we're going to let this set up for a while, and then we'll come back and check on it. Fingers crossed, I don't have to touch anything up. Okay, guys, the paint's dry. I uh, waited right about two hours, and I did the finger test up here on a tab where nothing's going to be exposed and I just felt that until it's dry and not tacky any longer so now it's ready for the clear coat and we're going to do three coats we're going to put a, a light coat on wait 10 minutes and then we're going to put two semi wet coats on so now I have to go through the same procedure shaking this up for a couple minutes 
pop in the cap, shake it for a few minutes, and we'll be ready to spray. We're ready. Okay, 10 minutes. Be right back. Okay, coat number two. Now for this one, we're going to go on a little bit wet. Okay, 10 more minutes, final coat. Should have just enough in this one can, which is awesome. All right, final coat. Going empty the can. All right, guys, a couple hours to sit, and then we'll come back out and check it again. So everything's painted, it's dried, clear coat's dry. Let's have a look. Not too shabby. A little bit of orange peel in it but some minor sanding and buff and polish. I should be able to match it to the factory paint very easily. There you are folks. That's an easy way that you can paint your own motorcycle fairings at home. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Um, keep in mind, I'm not a professional I'm just to do it yourselfer. Now, if you wanna see how to buff and polish these things on out to a mirror shine, That'll be in the next video coming out. Thanks for watching. Be sure to hit like and subscribe. Till next time, ride safe.